Hey you guys, I'm Katie Krause. And I'm Deidre Behar. And today it is all about Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez. Jelena has kind of had a whirlwind year and we are counting down all the reasons why we think they might be getting back together. Okay, so after three years of on and off dating, in May 2015, we had our first signs of a Jelena reunion. So they were both at the Met Ball. Selena looked incredible and Justin took notice, okay? He told the paparazzi as he was exiting the event, Selena looked gorgeous at the Met Ball. Ugh, and I feel like that got to her because just a couple weeks after that, they were in the same Snapchat video. They were at some, I think it was a hotel with their Bible study leaders. Rich Wilkerson Jr. posted the Snapchat and Jelena fans went Nuts. crazy. They were wondering why are they together? What are they doing? They both looked happy. And that I think was kind of the beginning of what could be together. Yeah, a reunion. Then we got some new music from Bieber and there were some subliminal messages in the videos that of course Jelena fans took notice of immediately. So first in the Where Are You Now video, fans submitted artwork and one of them said Where Are You Now Selena and it somehow miraculously made it into the video. Where are you now that I need you? Fast forward to September, the What Do You Mean music video came out and again Selena graffiti. What does it mean? Justin I mean, Bieber, that was a pun. He knew that that stuff was in there and he gave it the check mark. Right, and then I think the music videos kind of led us into what I like to call headline frenzy. Yes. It was interview after interview, quote after quote, starting with Selena Gomez. She told Elle magazine in September that she will always love and support Justin Bieber. And then here's my favorite part. When the interviewer asked Selena if they would ever get back together, she started laughing and said, I don't know. So then Justin gets his chance to kind of put his two cents in. He goes to Complex Magazine and kind of drops a huge bombshell. He says, I moved in with my girlfriend when I was 18, started my own life with her. It was a marriage kind of thing. I mean, that kind of gives you a glimpse into how serious things were for them at such a young age and the intensity yes. and the emotions and maybe they didn't have all the coping mechanisms to really deal with what was going on and the fame. And then this duet leaks of Justin and Selena. The song is called Strong and it really details what they were going through when they were in this relationship and what they wish could be different or what they could have done differently. And Very I think it's weird, timing. the timing that that leaked mm -hmm. makes you wonder. And speaking of the music, while promoting his new album, Purpose, watch what Justin Bieber said when he was asked what inspired him. What inspires me the most when I write music? Probably my ex-girlfriend. And then immediately following that, this is of course in November, he appears on the Ellen DeGeneres show. He not only confirms which songs are about her, but also says he thinks that they could maybe possibly get back together. <gasps> I mean, we have a lot of history together, so mm -hmm. I'm sure, I'm, I mean, it possibly could happen, but yeah. I think we're both just on our own journeys of just figuring ourselves out. Yep. And I think maybe once we figure ourselves out, we can come together and make an awesome duo. I just want her to be happy, honestly. He yeah. also told E.T. that he's a fan of her new album, Revival. I heard a couple songs. I think she's great. She's super talented. The one thing we cannot deny is that they actively, willingly spent time together on November 21st at the Montage Hotel. So basically, fans captured Justin serenading Selena, so romantic, I right? Know, it's so cute. With not only his song, Sorry, he did My Girl. I mean, I gotta give it up to the guy for that. Round of applause for that one. I feel like he felt nostalgic because then the following week, earlier this month, you guys, he posted not one, but two throwbacks. So on December 2nd, first he posts this photo of them together, they're in Canada on an ATV date, but he captions the picture, quote, just a throwback, calm down, because all of the Justin and Selena fans went rabid in the comments section wondering why he would post that. Then, just a couple days later, December 6th, he posts yet another throwback right after she's linked to One Direction's Niall Horan. And it's her in this white dress. They're leaving the Hotel Transylvania premiere. And he just writes, crazy throwback. What does it mean? Seeing pictures of her in the media with a new guy, a fellow pop star, that's gotta hurt. So let's settle this. Do you think they could get back together and do you want them to get back together? I think the answers to both are yes, okay. but I want to point something out. Two of Selena's really close friends, Taylor Swift and Demi Lovato, are in very stable, loving, healthy relationships with men who are a little bit older. If it's working for them, it'll probably work for you too. What do you think? 
I, okay, so I do want them to get back together, but I want Justin to grow up and to be that guy, because I think he wants to be. I do think that they have this undeniable connection, just because of what chemistry. they, yeah, mm -hmm. I think that that's kind of what keeps leading them back together. So 2016 is a new year. We will, it's yet to be seen if an actual relationship will blossom again. I do kind of hope so. Let us know what you guys think though. Should Jelena get back together? Let us know in the comments section. Send us over some tweets and use that hashtag ETNow and how about ET Jelena? Bye guys, bye.